G'day guys, today we're looking at moving from LastPass over to Bitwarden and the process that that involves. So, if we look in here, I've set up an account, I've got my LastPass account here, and we go into my vault, and I've got two accounts, I've got a Google account and an Outlook account. Now this process is the same whether you have two accounts or a thousand. Okay, so what we need to do to do this process is, first of all, we need to download Bitwarden, which can be found at bitwarden.com. So, let's do it the lazy way. Right, so what we want to do is create an account. They have a view plans and pricing, but for the most you can pretty much do everything you need to for free. Uh, personally, I have a $10 a year plan, but it's not needed. And so, the best way to run it is to have it in your web browser. So here we have a Google Chrome. We're going to add that to Chrome. Add the extension. Voila we now have the Bitwarden browser extension. Um, pick your browser, pick your file over, it's all pretty much the same here. Um, so what we want to do is import the data out, ex sorry, we want to export the data out of LastPass so we can get into Bitwarden. So when we're in LastPass, we need to go to Advanced Options, And in here, you should see an export option. You will need to put in your master password. Which is that for me. And then we have this last pass export CSV. Uh, there's a possi possibility that that was not saved on your computer and just opens up a file. What you want to do then is select all of that data, copy it, and then start Notepad and just paste it into Notepad and then save it as a file somewhere where you can find it easily um, but it will be a CSV extension um, LastPass data and that's that'll be the only difference. Um, but we don't need that one, of course, because ours has saved here in our downloads directory, um, which is in our downloads folder. Right, so the next thing we need to do is import it into Bitwarden. So if we go to Bitwarden and log in, we need to create an account. So we can create an account. We put in our email address. And then we need to create a master password. Same deal as with LastPass. This, you want to make this as strong as you possibly can. You definitely want it to be something you haven't used anywhere else and something you will remember because if you forget this password you will never be able to get your data again so I'm just going to paste my password in here and this is where you can have a hint if you want um, personally I just make sure I don't forget my password so we agree and then we create an account and we have to prove that we're human. Yes. Ah, daisies. I guess they're all daisies. I'm not really a plant person. Okay, we don't want LastPass to be saving anything, and I don't even want Outlook to save that. Alright, so we've got our new account here. Got a welcome email pop in there. So we continue, put in our password, and we can log in. And 
it still wants to make sure I'm human. This only happens the first time. It just doesn't want bots making hundreds and hundreds of accounts. Yeah, please don't tell me. I don't want you to do it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is verify the account. So you click on this little send email button. And you get an email from Bitwarden saying verify your email address. Do that now. Continue. Password again. And we are in. Alright. So the next thing we need to do is import the file. So in Bitwarden, once you're logged into the vault, you got your tools. And in here, you can import data. Select the format of the file. We have a CSV from LastPass. So this is just the instructions on how to do it. Uh, we want to choose our file. We'll go to our Downloads folder, LastPass export, open that up, and import the data. ta -da Data imported successfully. And here we go, we've got the two items from our vault that we bought in from LastPass. So, then if we go to... So, what we're going to do is disable LastPass now. So, you can just right-click on it. And I'm just going to remove it from Chrome altogether. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Right, so the other thing we need to do is in here, uh, we've got our extensions here. We want to pin Bitwarden. So now we've got it here. We need to log in. And log in with our master password. And now we're logged in. So what I want to show you now is if we go to gmail.com, We've got our account, email account, ask for our password. So we can just right click on that, go Bitwarden, Autofill, and that. Or the other option is up here. You can just click on this and click on the account you're trying to log into. Fills it in, hit next, and then we're in. Okay, so that's the whole process. You can see your all your accounts should be in here and when it comes to adding accounts it's just a s simple process of Bitwarden will come up it usually has a little thing up here saying do you want to save this password to your vault when you're going to new sites just say yes and it adds it to your vault alright thanks for watching guys enjoy the rest of your day night or evening